Hello. Uh, nutrition is certainly one of the most exploited topics in the media today. Numerous studies are being conducted on this topic and they evaluate various causal links between food and health. Mother's milk is considered to be the only food that meets all nutritional needs for a young infant. However, uh, breastfeeding is not just feeding, it is a way of life for the child and mother that contributes to healthy growth and development and the establishment of close connection between mother and child. When we talk about nutrition, the fact is that there is no other period in our lives when the nutrition is so important as it is in early childhood. Although the, all of the world's greatest health organizations recommend breastfeeding, of course, sometimes mother's milk can be a source of contaminants. The question is whether there is a presence of organic pollutants in it and whether these compounds could affect the health and development of the child. Persistent organic pollutants, or POPs, are organic chemicals that are characterized by exceptional stability and resistance in the environment and they are also toxic to human and animal health because they cause disorders in various organ systems. The concentrations of POPs can be elevated by few times because uh, of the accumulation in the food chain. PCBs and dioxins are the basic groups of POPs. Uh, my master thesis deals with these facts and the title of the thesis is Contents of PCBs in Mother Milks in Bosnia. The research is conducted on samples of milk of breastfeeding mothers that met specific inclusion criteria. Aim of the research is to examine the content of PCBs in this sample and to assess possible degree of exposure of infants. Method for analysis is gas chromatography, electron capture detector or GCECD after extraction with organic sol solvents. Contribution of this research could be to check the degree of contamination in milk because of the daily exposure of infant and uncertain data on contamination of our environment. It could also be important in organizing certain public health campaigns and other preventive actions. If we want to reduce the intake of POPs, the food monitoring system should be set up to follow different types of food. Uh, this information can help people to make choices in their nutritional habits. The conclusion will bring recommendations in which direction the research could go in the future and give greater importance to preventive activities from the early childhood. Thank you.